good my beauty so for today's video i'm just going to be talking about why i got dreads and then i'm also going to be doing like a update video of my dreads and this journey that i've been on and just measure my dreads to see how long they are now if this is your first time clicking on any video on my channel well i just started my journey i would say about four months ago and i did post a video for the first time that i got my um starter locks twisted and in that video i'm going to leave a link up here and also in the description box so if you guys want to check that out you guys can check that out as well it's just a video where i was getting my hair done for the first time um but i did not measure my hair in that video but i will be measuring my hair in today's video just to see how long it is and then i just want to track you know how much it is growing or is not growing if you are new to this channel make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that post notification bell so that you can keep up with me on this journey and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back um i appreciate you guys i love you guys First thing first, I'm gonna measure my hair so we can see how long my hair is. So, I get my measuring tape. And I'm just gonna take this one in the front because I feel like it's in the front. I can remember which one that I'm gonna be measuring. So it goes about right there. That says five inches. Should I do one in the back too, just to see? This one's look a little short. Look a little short. But I know for sure which ones I need to measure um, for an updated video. Oh, hold on. I would say, yeah, so they're all around five and five and a half. I'm pretty sure if I measure these ones, they're going to be around the same as well. So that's where my hair is at. why I started dreads and why I wanted to begin this journey so um I just thought it was time honestly like I got tired of just worrying about what am I gonna do to my hair and just pulling on my hair all the time just with different styles from like braids so I'm just like you know what it's time I want to start a healthier journey I want to leave my hair alone and not have that be something to worry about so here I am and I just see you know just how much easier it is especially you know as someone who has so much going on you know you want to be able to have time to take care of your hair and I just feel like this is just an easier solution of just taking care of my hair and not only that you guys this is the beginning of just loving yourself a little bit more and so you know you got to just work with what you got you feel me so me wearing my hair out me showing like yeah this is me it's just a part of just me being more in tune with myself and just be like okay you know this is who i am right and then also you know my boyfriend he has dreads too but all in all i feel like you know the main reasons why i started this vlog journey was really self-love and just loving my hair loving what i got and just dealing with it and also it's a healthier route um it's a healthy style to make my hair grow and to just leave my hair alone stop tugging on it and things like that and to just really like really 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 just let my hair grow let it flourish let it do what it do let it do what it needs to do without me trying to figure out what hairstyle do i need to put my hair in and i feel like you know it's growing on me even though my hair is short and a lot of people are afraid of this short phase my hair is definitely growing on me i just have to figure out like you know different styles that i want to put it in and there are so many different styles i feel like i can do with it, do with it already and i'm actually happy that i did it i'm actually glad that i finally made the decision and just sticking through with it because i'm loving the journey and i know it's it's um it's a process that i have to grow to learn just like with anything else in life so i hope y'all are gonna stick with me through this life journey because i know starting new things isn't always easy i never thought i'd be that friend with the dreads <laughs> i never thought i'd be that friend with the dreads because i'm always doing so many different hairstyles and so 
but yet here I am here I am and a good thing with having dreads I can still do different hairstyles I can still get wigs put on my head I can still rock um, some braids if I wanted to but one thing about the braids I've learned is that you don't want to put the braids over your locks too often because that can thin out your hair because of the pooling and things like that things that I have thought of is I can always get a wig with braids um, I've actually made my own um, wigs uh, with braids and locks with. and so I actually put that video um, a link to that video up here as well so I've actually done that because I tried putting crochet um, braids or is it crochet dress I think yeah I tried putting crochet well I did not try but I actually did put crochet um, dreads in my own hair so I braided my dreads back and I ended up crocheting the dreads in my hair and that's I regret doing because I actually had some singles out like this and crocheted the dread through my hair up here. I ended up um, cutting one of my dreads out up here on accident like I did so good. I took out all the hair when it was time. I took out all the hair and the rest of my head. As soon as I get to the front, I ended up cutting one of my dreads. So that's why this part is like right dead in the middle, right dead in the middle. So that's why this one is kind of like thick, but you can't really tell um, now that I got it retwisted. But yeah, I literally cut the entire dread off. It was like my hair was like this short. I was hurt. Okay, I was hurt. So from there, I learned my lesson and I was just like, you know what? I'm never doing that again. Um, I ended up making my own wig with crochet dreads and crochet braids and things like that. And so, if I wanted to wear dreads or anything, and they're actually headband wigs. So, if I wanted to wear my own, like, if I wanted to wear weave braids and dreads and things like that, I'll just throw on one of those um, wigs, those headband wigs that I made. And, like, I'm never going to crochet anything else or braid hair over these dreads. None of that because... I don't got time. I don't want my hair to be thin. I don't want any thin locks. Nothing against thin locks, but me personally, I do not want thin locks. I want mine to be thick and healthy. All right, you guys. So here are a couple things that I use for my hair to make sure that it is moisturized and oiled and things like that. So my loctician, she told me about this Beach Babe um, sea salt spray. So she told me that this will help to keep my hair super moisturized and that I want to spray it in my hair every other day. And so this is what I use. And then I also put like a bunch of different mixtures in this little bottle um, of oils. So it's like um, I have so many different oils. It don't make any sense. Like castor oil, um, almond oil. Um, tea tree oil coconut oil just so on and so on like there's so many but um, I have to refill it I'm going to actually put all the oils that I put in this mixture in the description box below because I just can't think of all of them on the top of my head but I just recently grabbed this braid moisturizing spray from Target um, and it's infused with tea tree oil and vegetable protein so this is to help keep my hair and my scalp moisturized and so um, I feel like I'm gonna be using this and the sea salt spray interchangeably so like maybe one day use this and the next day use the sea salt spray I hope that's not doing too much but that's what I'm about to do so I use this today and then I just recently picked up some do grow oil as well. So I'm going to be using some do grow oil on my hair. Um, I used this today, so I used these two products today. So I sprayed this on my hair first, and I went went in after I sprayed my hair with some oil and oiled my scalp, oiled my hair, and then um, my lacticians also told me about some argan oil um, dry shampoo. So when I first got my hair locked four months ago, when she first locked my hair, she was like, well, since you can't wash your hair or anything because you don't want your dress to come down, you want to make sure you get some dry shampoo. This has argan oil, 
Morocco and silk proteins in here. So she was like, you know, don't wash your hair, just spray this in your hair and it's gonna help to clean your hair. And so, boom. But yeah, so these are all the items that I use on my hair for my locks to make sure that it is moisturized and oiled and everything so that I can make sure that my scalp is healthy that my dreadlocks are healthy so i feel like that is about it for this video if you guys have enjoyed watching this video and if you learned something make sure you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i will see you all on the next video Bye.